when you're not feeling very well, you'd most probably pay your doctor a visit, right? But if, if I tell you your doctor is not a person but a technology, artificial intelligence has transformed the healthcare industry in many ways, from screening to diagnosing. AI has reshaped the medical industry. But the question remains, will you trust AI to be your doctor? As per statistics, in 2022, the international medical AI market was valued at more than $4 billion. It is expected to grow by nearly a quarter annually over the next decade. Moreover, according to a report from McKinsey and Harvard researchers, around $200 billion to $360 billion can be saved in the next five years if AI becomes more widely adopted in the healthcare industry. You may not know this, but AI in healthcare has been around since the 70s. Stanford University created an AI tool in 1970 named Mycin, which aimed to aid physicians in diagnosing and treating bacterial blood infections and meningitis. The form and flexibility of healthcare AI has changed dramatically since Mycin. Out of all the use To find the case is AI's best advantage is its medical imaging ability. It is good at pattern recognition. As per a new study, researchers have found that artificial intelligence was able to detect more breast cancers than doctors with years of training and experience. AI also cut down a radio radiologist's workload in half. Aside from imagery, AI can also draw on other data recorded in a patient's electronic health records to draw conclusions on how likely someone is to have a given disease. Researchers have found that AI can predict the likelihood of many conditions such as type 2 diabetes, heart disease, Alzheimer's and kidney disease based on lifestyle, medical records, genetic factors and more. However, some doctors have raised their concerns and have been vocal about the quality of care and accuracy of information when it comes to emerging healthcare with artificial intelligence. As per Pew Research Center's survey, 60% Americans say that they would feel uncomfortable if their clinician relied on AI to diagnose or recommend treatments. 33% think it would lead to worse health outcomes for patients and only 7% think it would improve their health. But the question still remains, if AI fails, who do we put the blame on? For most AI to function properly, it needs to be trained on data that has been unnoted by experts. Many diseases simply lack enough supporting data. Moreover, new illnesses and diseases are discovered every month or so. Meanwhile, the medical AI space is also grappling with protecting a patient's data with a need for more data sharing. The number of ransomware attacks on hospitals more than doubled between 2016 and 2021. Researchers estimate more than 42 million patients' data was exposed over five years. As healthcare organizations continue to adopt AI, there's also an urgent need to secure the cyber environment.